May the 1st marks the start of a yearly drive to get Japanese business people to shed their suits for cooler clothing. The Japanese government launched the Cool Biz campaign back in 2005 as a way to get public servants to reduce their consumption of electricity. It became a nationwide movement last year after the Fukushima accident triggered power shortages across the country. NHK World's Kaoruko Ishibushi reports. In Nichinan City in southwestern Japan, municipal employees who are normally seen in formal business attire now enjoy working in Aloha shirts. Though summer hasn't arrived yet, a festival spirit is already here. I want to brave the summer heat in this bright shirt. It's very refreshing. In central Tokyo, many businessmen go to work without a necktie. If you look at me, you'll understand why I feel a lot more comfortable. The walls of this office are adorned with posters calling on people to conserve energy. The lights have been dimmed and air conditioners are set to 28 degrees Celsius. Conference rooms are equipped with additional fans to cope with higher temperatures. Summer may be a few weeks away. But competition among retailers to sell cool biz related goods has been heating up since mid-April. Last year, our sales rose by 30 to 40 percent, and we expect a similar trend this year. Our customers are already asking about business polo shirts. Hitting the shelves this year is a new type of shirt fitted with several reinforced pockets. It was designed in response to a problem businessmen had when they shed their jackets. Fewer pockets to hold their phones and other belongings. A super lightweight jacket is also available for more formal occasions. The absence of inner layers and shoulder pads makes it 50% lighter than traditional jackets. Another great hit from last year is this cooling spray, meant to be vaporized over one's clothes. This year, it's back in full array of fragrances. And in some cases, products focus on blending convenience with style. This scarf for women is made from a material that keeps the neck cool. In 2011, the market for cool biz goods was valued at close to $3 billion, with authorities predicting more power shortages in the heat of summer. Demand is unlikely to cool anytime soon. Kaoru Koishibushi, NHK World, Tokyo. Japanese take great pride in their high-tech economy, but last year they had to struggle through the rationing of electricity, and they're worried about what might happen this summer. There are currently 50 nuclear reactors in Japan. Over the last year, those that were still in service went offline for inspections, one after another. The only one still in operation is Hokkaido Electric's Tomari plant, but it too will be shut down for regular inspection this coming Saturday. Japan's nine power companies have released their estimates for supply and demand this summer. They assume temperatures this year would reach the record highs of 2010. The estimates suggest Hokkaido Kansai and Kyushu Electric Power Companies will all face shortages. The situation is especially serious for Kansai Electric, which is the most dependent on nuclear power. A summer as hot as in 2010 will generate a power demand of 30.3 million kilowatts, but we will be 16.3 percent short. The analysts predicted corporations and consumers would contribute to efforts to save power, including the Cool Biz campaign. Demand could exceed supply if the summer turns out to be hotter than expected, resulting in blackouts. Utilities imposed planned blackouts last year to prevent such a situation. That forced many factories to curb production and had a significant impact on people's lives.